from the Akistats Arena at Caesars Southern Indiana. Welcome to the 2023 Derby City Classic and the 24th edition of the Pocket Billiards All-Around Championship. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Thank you very much. Arguably Pool's most exciting event. And it's proudly sponsored by Diamond Billiard Products, by Simona's Cloth, and by Aramith Belgian Billiard Balls. And we thank them so much for their support. We'd also like to recognize our great associate sponsors from Outsville and Master Chalk, and recognizing the best tournament direction team in the business, Bad Boys Billiard Productions, once again doing their magic to put this event on for you. One last time, we'd like to thank the Caesar Southern Indiana for hosting us for well over a decade and being great partners along the way. And lastly, but not least, all of you great fans out there and those who have come once again to be part of our DCC family and watch this live in person, you are the most important part of the tournament and thank you all very, very much. Okay, here's where we are and where we're going in the bank pool division. 500 players enter the bank pool division. There are three players left. The two that are in front of you right now were playing and neither of them have a rebuy. The winner goes to the final, the loser finishes third. Waiting to play the winner of this match for the championship is our defending bank pool champion, Fetter Gorst, who also has a rebuy. So it might be a two-setter, it might be one, we'll have to wait and find out. Meanwhile, let's get underway. Our first player comes to us from Detroit. Right here in this arena, not too long ago, he was in the bank final. Unfortunately, he came up one short, and he finished second. He's looking to go one step further this year. Sponsored by Predator, let's hear it for Evan Runda. <laughs> His opponent, originally from Iraq, now resides in Houston, Texas. This gentleman had a second place finish in the Texas bank pool ring game facing Skylar Woodward, but that's not bad to come in second to that gentleman. And he's looking to go a little further here. Sponsored by Kamui, let's have a nice warm welcome for Raid Shahib. Okay, go ahead and lag for the break if you would, ladies and gentlemen. And at this time, we'll send it upstairs to the commentary booth, so take it away upstairs. Well, thank you, Kenny. Welcome and hello to everybody. Pool fans here for the semifinals of the Bank Pool. I'm Mark Wilson. Alongside me, Jeremy Jones. Jeremy uh, Shabib, he hails from your territory here, Houston, Texas. Yeah, he doesn't. He's not originally from there. Actually, lived in Louisville for a piece, uh, and of course from the Middle East originally. And talked to him the other night in the elevator and asked. I know he can play, and just asked him how the tournament was going. He had just beat St uh, Scott Frost, I think, in the ninth round. Uh, so obviously playing well and has gone on to play even better to get to this point. Evan Lunda, some, me and a couple of friends of mine before this match were talking about him. And of course, if you don't know Evan, he's super talented, um, knows the games. And we're just kind of wondering what's his best game. A lot of people consider one pocket, but when he starts to bank him, huh, he's mm -hmm. a tough guy to beat. He he's, moves real well, too. Well, he's won the lag. And that's a big deal in the race to three bank pool. Bark the cue ball nicely. Dry break. Yeah, and he's giving up some nice ones here to start us. I don't know if he can get at the seven, but the one definitely does bank by the two. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Boy, There's a, this would be like the banking patch here for a what? bank pool player. They just enjoy this because there's nothing tangled up or tied up. There's no combos and everything's laying nice. It's all about this first shot. If he makes his first one, he doesn't really have to go up table before probably getting four balls. This sits so nice. See Beautiful. the two now and just. Yeah, he's going to take a look at the other, but he's going to settle on the two. Yeah, just yeah. kind of looking to where, kind of feels where he's going. You know, banks, you don't want to be like always so precise with the cue ball. Mm -hmm. You want to like give as much effort into the cue ball as you can yeah. uh, without really sacrificing the bank. And especially when you're looking at ones that you're supposed to make at a high percentage. Yeah, like that, you know. Didn't do a whole lot, really focused on the bank, knowing there's a couple options there. That five ball looks delightful. 
Two zeros are a score already. Man, I tell you, what's so awesome about the Derby is no matter what kind of fan you are, along with what kind of player you are, you got tons of variety, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, now Banks were looking at a real up-tempo game where even the 10 ball, as good as it was, um, was a little different than this. Now you have one pocket coming up, of course, nine ball to finish. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't know if you've noticed, and this is what good bank players do when they can, is they hit a lot of the shots the same, you know, like very similar kind of speeds, just like there's some bank players that always hit the face of the ball and turn it all the time. They do a lot of things the same a yeah. lot, so they get a good feeling yeah. of what's going on and how the ball's reacting. And then some guys always cut it and, and stiff it back. On, you know what I'm saying? Like yes. they, they figure out a standard way they like to bank them. And as much as possible, they stick to that. This one's going to be a tough cross. It's got to go slow. Yeah, hit a little high. You know, he didn't want to take on the six, which was far more bankable. But I think it was because of the defensive ramifications from there is, is the reason he's got four. He's trying to protect that lead. Well, a lot of people on that six, Mark, would say, oh, let me bank it and draw my ball between the three and nine backup table. That's okay if balls are out of play, meaning there's a few more out of play. But even drawing your ball up table um, with so many in play, if you give up a bank on that six or he knows Evan's going to shoot at one to try and steal the game. So you got to be real careful against these top players. Oh, that's a miss it there. And he's giving up the three, which he's elevated. The four's a little funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the three's relatively safe. If you just roll the cue ball forward to the side cushion, it's going to be an off-angle three. That's 100% the shot. And the way you said it is 100% the shot in my mind. Now, that's off how he made his first four, right? Right, but right. But now you have to consider the cue ball, and you really can't give up the four ball. Well, especially after you passed up the six ball last game. Now they'll all of a sudden go wide open. So, Yeah. Okay. Well, Evan loves this. He can cue the ball. He's got a reasonable shot. Now here he decides kind of, hey, do I I, I kind of like the bank two rails kind of bumping the nine. Yeah. With the, oh, he's banking this. He This is, no, nah, I don't know about this. This is really trying to steal the game on this inning right here or get way back in it because there is no safety here I don't know about that one just yet and I'll tell you why a little time at the table lengthening the game a little bit yeah he had, he had another shot on the four um, that didn't have to sell out much maybe get some going right. uh, this, these kind of sets can go real quickly if you don't watch it and we just watched uh, Shabib miss a ball that with a real quick transition, like he's not even settled in, even though he made four banks. There and he's know. missed this one as well. And he's really given up a shot here. Now here, this is uh, where you do want to play shape, just because of the score. Mm -hmm. You don't want to cinch this one. You want to go after this one some kind of way with the cue ball. Stun down below the six, kind of below it a little bit for the cross side maybe. I wouldn't draw it. Maybe just stun to the end rail. Mark, there's enough yeah, angle, right? Yeah, and you, if, if you're real comfortable, you can go to the end rail and just play the six cross corner and bounce it up there, play the, have the natural like this. Oh. Yeah, he went way higher with the cue ball. I thought he would kind of float it there. Yeah, I didn't think, I didn't, when I said cross corner on the six, I didn't mean get way north. No, the absolutely, six, absolutely. Anything slowly roaming around the six with the cue ball produces a shot, right? So yeah. Okay, the ball's still pretty open, but he figures this is the good thing about this shot, is he figures to put the six out of play, even if he, uh, mm -hmm. and go at the nine with the yeah, cue ball. Yeah, he hit it good. Yeah. He hit it good. Yeah, see this pace, if it nice. doesn't go in, yeah, in game one to Shabib. Looking back, I think he should have shot at the six originally when he ran four balls. And forget that, because here, Lunda had two chances to get back in the game, and he shot at a bank that was far less makeable than that six ball was in the first rack. And you can't mouse around with a guy like Lunda. He can, he can run out from anywhere. So Yeah. I, I mean, I know he's trying to play strategy. I know I he think wants if, to win desperately. I, I think the complexion of the game changes dramatically if he shoots that cross side four the way you said it. Just roll forward to the, end, to the middle of the side mm -hmm. rail with the cue ball and 
you'll see the next shot, things would change dramatically as far as the layout of right. the ball, I think, anyways, right. you know. But that was two separate innings. But, you hey, listen, John it, Brumbach, so. he's yeah. banking the six, like yeah. you said, so, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, because disregard the opponent trying to be cute, because this guy can run out from everywhere. Yeah. He have possibly got through 300 players. You got a chance. You got to go, and you got to take your best scoring opportunity, because – the crossover bank, maybe you can make it, maybe not, but it's really iffy. It's like, it's like you're playing conservative all of a sudden. You know? Right. And the thing is also uh, you got to realize that this is the final three players, right? You're deep in the tournament. These guys are going to play the score real well and say, hey, I need to shoot at something maybe a little risky if I'm mm -hmm. Evan, but, hey, I can get back in the game. So they're always dangerous, right? Yeah. You get a good look here at Shabib's break. Yeah, ball's not breaking that easy. Well, he didn't hit him real good, you know, on top of it, where Lunda hit him, where that cue ball just came back and checked up. This one, the cue ball went way to the side right away, so he didn't get the impact into it. Yeah, and look at the difference in the, the dry break here. A di very dangerous one-ball shot to shoot at that is no hanger. Mm -mm. Nothing really that great otherwise. You bank the nine, of course, it's the same thing. I'll tell you what, I'd, I'd really calm myself down here. I don't know if I'd really even shoot at anything to start. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a foreign table, too. This is an outer table, right? This right. is going to slide a little more. The pocket's a little easier, but the rails are a little harder to gauge. Wow. What a stroke. I did like he get unlucky shot. here? No. Wow. Okay. Well, kind of glad he didn't. That was a Me nice too. shot. You hate to see a guy get punished after now, hitting that nice shot. He might have overlooked the seven, Mark. You're sitting right down the line. It banks cross corner, it correct? Yeah. And he I can kind of roll towards the four. Not totally safe, but not too bad. If you don't look real close, it doesn't look like it goes. But when you cut across that seven, it's really going to straighten up, and there's enough room. Yeah. And that's the type of shot on this table that will slide real well. Um, you can hit it with a little pace, and it'll hold up. Look at this shot. Wow. Yeah. So he's gambling here. I mean, he could give up a, yeah, see the one now. Exactly the type of speed also yeah. on the one you need that what seems like uh, Shabib the, likes, right? The six. He's, this could be a rolling, gliding, get to use the rail uh, off the second rail to make it type of shot. And then you got the six. As long as he doesn't over hit it too much. You know, you no, want to pop it, no, but just right. not too you, much. You want to hold the cue ball there. Yeah, that's perfect. The six. Oh. Yeah. Wasn't bad speed. Kind of came up off the shot a little bit, but. Well, that's impressive that that ball kind of easily hung up because uh, the mm -hmm. TV table, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. will let a few slide in. So, all right, a chance to do some damage here. I guess he'll probably recognize the seven if he goes down there again. I like the way he iced that one. Definitely the seven coming. Very smooth well, cueing action by How are you not Lunda? banking the seven here, though? You gotta bank the yeah, seven. Yeah, why would you want to twist this back when you got the Ex seven that's so much 100%. shorter? You yeah. could shoot the seven and draw into the five eight. You could shoot it however you like the seven. I suggest top, but I think he's uh, gonna get on the seven now. I don't know about that selection there. Well, I don't think Shabib's gonna pass up the seven. No. That's twice. I think he overlooked it last time. I think he saw it this time, but I mean. Even if you have to elevate a little bit, you're a huge favorite here. He's a hair behind it in full. I kind of like elevating on the seven, a hair myself. Uh huh. Just like a light stun. Good shot. Yeah. Look out, snowball. Yeah, it's going to be perfect. Uh oh, he well, opened up the pocket for yeah. the four. <laughs> yeah, and he gets to roll at this as well. Man. I mean, somewhat roll. Yeah. And another one that kind of ties up a pocket if he misses. Or a lane, maybe. Uh, he overcut that by some piece. And you can tell... Or I can kind of feel like I tell uh, mm -hmm. what's the comfortable speed for Shabib. The lighter ones to me uh, maybe have been a little bit so-so. Well, I kind of feel like this two balls going cross corner here. Whether he makes it or not, I don't know. But I think he's going to pace that one in there. Yeah, these are the type that uh, the better bankers are pretty big favorites to make. Now, of course, this is the final three of the tournament. So that makes a little difference. But, but then... They, these are the better bankers, too. Absolutely. 
they just don't miss those and, <laughs> and if you notice it's real like uh, like a medium you know that's the best one it, you know the good stroke makes you look it makes it look like it's more than medium mark mm -hmm. you know what I mean because mm -hmm. when you put a good stroke the ball has more yeah. pace you know so but if you just watch the stroke itself it was about about medium this four ball now cross corner Pretty yeah. makeable. Got to be careful. He's going low. Got to be careful that side pocket. Watch the there. three ball. Also, he's hitting this thin kiss off the three. Oh, nice stroke. Gorgeous Straight shot. low. Gorgeous Straight shot. low. And that's that medium again. Like a, you know, that's just when you see him bank their best. That's they get in stroke. Kind of like we were talking about the other day. Fetter plays position a little bit through racks to make a lot of the same strokes. You know. Yeah. Or it seems that way anyway. So I don't know if it's conscious or not. Just kind of gets in green, but same. Oh, no. He kind of lifted up on that one a little bit, too. Like he was already counting that one in and getting ready to go on to his next shot. Not much of a bank here on offer. No, and really dangerous position as well. Easy to give up a free shot. What's the rail first look like on the one? Does that get you to the end rail by the three just kind of lightly? Yes. It's not bad to put a ball on the spot if you can get the cue ball on yeah. the rail past the three a little bit. You, you might even be on top of the three if you go That's not terrible here. either. You right. Because know, so, this is very dangerous. I mean, the, the, you can't do anything but maybe give up a free shot. He wants to thin that eight ball straight back, but I don't Whew. know. Yeah. I mean, it's a... Uh, you're gonna sell out something for sure. He wants to lock him up. This is, this, but you're always like, this is what I was gonna say. You're either gonna give up a free shot or a real good shot. You'd one been, of the two. You've been so. miles better to bump the one ball here down and just settle in there. Yeah, put them all on top of each other. Just cut the right side of the one if Look you didn't want to make it. Yeah, I mean, this is to win the game here. You can't give this to, to the guy you're playing. Yeah, it's suicide. And this is a winter break format. Game of peace now. And just shortly after this semifinal, we'll get into the finals. A little deja vu from last year with Fetter Gorst back into the final. How deep did Evan go last year? He had a deep run in this event, I thought. Maybe it was the year before. I thought it was last year, though, like a Final Four as well. It might have been. I know, think so, been yeah. so many tournaments. I know, right? Um, no, but I know he's been here the last few years and going deep. So. Oh, much better break off there. You can see the timing. Really nice. He's got a pretty good shot on the eight. Little jacked up. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys will pass the eight here for the cross side on the six occasionally, believe it or not. Just a little more elevation. I know you're elevated on the six, but you're kind of close. You're kind of drawing the ball, you know. Mm -hmm. no, I think the eight's the right play here. Yeah, it's just sitting right, right in front of you. That's for He's sure. Been hitting that shot good. All right, the cross. Stuffs him in there. The crossover on the six is a kind of a medium slow one may put you to where you're not really getting a ton of shape because you've got to kind of follow it. You could twist it a hair if you want to take a chance at really missing it. I think with a high ball, he makes it all day. Like I said, I think he maybe ends up a little more towards the end rail. Going to roll the nine in. The thing is... If he doesn't have, if he has to use the rail, a light speed is not going to go. It's going to bounce a little mm -hmm. bit and kind of hang in the pocket. So I think he's still got to shoot the six, in my opinion. Oh, this is dangerous. This could give up a lot. Kind of held the cue ball, which is nice. He got lucky that the six came over and, and kind of trapped up that lane for the five. Well, the two, you just got to bank the two in here. This is a, not a hanger, but if you know the shot, like, it, mm -hmm. you know, a high, a little mm -hmm. bit left and chop the ball, I mean, it's a pretty good shot. As far as the make yeah. percentage, it's the, it's the best make percentage. So, 
You can shoot it with a straight high ball too. You don't have to put left, but you're kind of threatening a scratch up in the corner if you just put a straight high ball on the two. Yeah, that's got to be the shot. Now, if he kind of chops at it, he'll hit it thick. Yeah, like that. You see, kind of pokey a little bit. Yeah. The four and the five both go. If he stuns this over, he may have the seven next. That would be beautiful. And drifted just a little too far, so he didn't have the angle I was thinking he might. Cross corner, seven ball. And he surrendered a shot here. and be interesting to see if Shabib draws his ball back because this isn't a terrible one to draw back for those balls on the spot and goes for it or if he just holds for the two. Because the thing is, if you hold for the two, you got to make a pretty nice bank on the two to score any more. And he's hitting the ball kind of harder as we go. Got to bank the two here, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the highest makes it. You know, you got to go where you got some success. Yeah, and the five does bank, but the five sells out almost as much. Well, he's switched it up, so he feels better about the five. Watch out, cue ball. Because I know he's trying to hit it hard enough to go up and down, I would think. See how hard he's hitting it, right? Mm-hmm. Could have lost track on the cue ball a little bit at that speed. Gave up a really nice shot on the six. I would say that he's a favorite to make this. Again, this is the one that you don't have to use English, Mark. Yeah. You've got to watch out for the scratch up in the corner if you don't. And you put spin. This is called the old 515. Oh, boy, he didn't even come close from Freddie Benavagna. It was yeah. whistling in when he shot it, <laughs> just like a freight train coming through at 515. Yeah, well, that's always because he's wanting to move the cue ball. Real easy to overcut it off of that one. You see he overcut it. Still didn't get a ton of cue ball movement around the table. So just kind of like you have that safety in mind, making sure you're not giving up something easy and it's easy just to kind of lean towards the cue ball a little bit. All right, he's not really moving his ball. Oh, he has got a high ball here. He's going to shoot. He's got to bank the two. Now, this is where you just smooth it, and the cue ball run pretty nicely around the seven, I believe. If you hit it hard, it'll kind of hug a little. You may catch the seven, yeah. I like that speed there. It hooked a little bit, but his accuracy is a lot better as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he drained it. Now, it's awkward to reach the six. Man, he lost the first game. He tied it up, and now up three to zero in this game. I think he needs to make sure he's very careful here. The one, three, five, nine are very bankable if he happens to give up a shot. Oh, nice stroke there. That's, that's that medium speed. It's yeah. just uh, really clean. Great job. All right, I would move the balls myself with the six out. A lot of people say cut the six, whatever. I'd play off the one myself. Or one of those balls, anyways. Probably yeah. the one. The nine's going to get pushed over. The three might get pushed over. This is okay as well. Great. It'd be hard to lose the game from here. He's going to have to make a great six ball shot. 
Yeah, now if you're Raid, you'd love to cut the six in here and, and put all the balls on the, in play and come back down to the end rail. Trailing four to zero in this game. You never know. You might promote a mistake from your opponent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, safety is just designed to get you back to the table with something slightly better to shoot. You're not to win with it. So. Yeah, that's the best just way to think about it. Give yourself a chance here. I mean, you didn't forcing something last time uh, led to way too many losses for however few successes you would have. Oh, his speed is dialed in really well. There's that middle of the end rail we talk about a lot. <clears throat> I think he's still got to play the safety side here. The one, just how often you're going to make it. Um, mm -hmm. I think he's got to come off the three. Well, the thing is, if he's going to shoot it, no use in rolling it. You might as well go ahead and give it your best stab. Yeah. Down 4-0. Wow. There what it is. a shot. What a shot. Yeah. Six ball. Now you go top spin into the stack. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I don't know if I would have shot it, but like I said, he committed, right? He mm -hmm. didn't shoot it like an in-between. Am I going to get get a little safe right. here, you know? No, he was very committed to it. No if he hits this one good, he can break the rack. One rail right into the five. Uh, hit it sweet. With inside spin. Take yeah. Care. He didn't want to break the rack. He wanted to play a little more safe on it. You can get that ball to turn over pretty well with just straight high also when you cut across it. Tell you what, though, battling. Mm, it's going to hurt. It's not going to give up a shot. It's going to hurt a little bit. The six? I think he's playing safe. He's elevated, though. Yeah, he's uh, dangerous, kind of a little bit dangerous. He was always kind of hitting it fat, though, I yeah. think. That one surprised me. I thought he was going to play a stop shot type of a save. Or... Well, he didn't want to open the nine or five and all that, right? Yeah. But if you look at him... I mean, they're kind of open a little bit anyways to where if the guy gets a shot. So don't be afraid to ball chop eight. off the nine if you're Evan in that spot. Nice hit there, even though he didn't make it. Much better stroke. Isa a day. Table 15. Isa a day. Table 15. You're on the clock. Damn it. Deja vu. Hmm. Wow. Anything but go backwards when you're on the hill. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, never try to get, you know, the most out of that kind of shot, like barely wiggling them because you're worried about giving up a bank or something like that, right? Play the cue ball, and if the guy makes it from the end rail, he makes it. So just make, don't worry about opening the ball so much, especially at four, four to one. Not the most terrible thing here to make the six and run the cue ball. Mm-hmm. And put him on the end rail, especially after he, he's, yeah. he's made this big mistake coming off the hill there with that foul, right? Seven's a little free, you would think, though. Is he banking the five instead? Okay, yeah, I was going to say the seven's kind of free unless you lose the cue ball. Wow. So we've had... Two fouls that were pretty similar, and then two scratches that were pretty similar. John Schmidt's wife, Felicity, says, ooh, he sewered. <laughs> John says he took the subway. <laughs> yeah, I told you the other day, the one I always liked is about Buddy when he says, oh, he better talk to it. <laughs> yeah. He better say something to it. 
It's not listening. All right, better than 50-50 here for sure. Just overcut it a little bit. Had a little left spin on it. Probably long rails this, the seven. Cross corners, all right. Great speed. Yeah, really good, though, because if Evan tries to make the six, right, he's got to really do something to move the cue ball around the table. Looking at rolling the seven, I guess he's going to shoot it with a lot of speed. This is one of the more dangerous shots coming from the end rail. If you're going to try and follow through mm -hmm. on a heavy hit, I'll, this is where like even the pros could really have a big miss hit here because mm -hmm. it requires quite a bit of power. Oh, he's elevating instead. Boy. Yeah, this is a lot right here. Man, what a hit good it. attempt to hit. Hit it sweet. That degree of elevation, I don't think mine would have ever looked like that one. <laughs> like it was a threat. You know? I know, right? What the heck was he doing? <laughs> playing save? No, I was playing the ball. All right. Trying to go back and forth. So if the seven gets a little out of hand, he could give up a shot on the seven. If he makes it, it's all good. But when you're coming back and forth with the cue ball, you forget about the ball you're shooting at it is the one you're probably going to sell out. Yeah. Yeah. But you got to shoot. I mean, that's just how the game is. Three to two here now on the ball count. Oh, excuse me. Three to one. That's correct. That Shabib had made a foul as well, so he lost that original ball he made. Is he trying to cross corner this? Wow. Going into the five. Worked out, though. Shooting the three here, or is he? No, he's shooting the one. the one. Yeah, he's trying to draw his ball, too. Move. That's what I mean when you're trying to do a lot of speed, right? That's where even the best players can get the bigger miss hits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was trying to do a lot on that shot. Yeah. Get the wrong hemisphere of the object ball. Right. And really gave up a really good one. And I'll tell you, there's a lot of players. This sits like straight on. No English. A lot of guys would go down for the five here. They wouldn't just stop. This one's sitting just like perfect. Maybe the tighter pockets maybe changes the mind of going forward for a position. But rolling the ball like a, a nice, you know, aggressive pace, yeah. that one was laying pretty sweet. Evan, one pocket player. Probably a little favorite here because it lays real nice. Getting the cue ball cleaned. Nice hit. Real cleanly hit. Confidently hit. And it gets back to where he needs one. Now the one's out of play. Yeah. It's easily put back in play, but he should shoot at this five ball. Just slowly here. Big full hit running the cue ball. Watch out. Okay, he's all right. Pretty free shot. Yeah, <laughs> left zero banks. Yeah, the one should be coming put in play here.
Corey Newell said something today. It was really fun. And we were playing one pocket, and the uh, guy needed like five balls, and they're all tangled up on the far end of the table, and the other guy was rolling down on them and stuff. And he got in a spot where he could put one over by his pocket, but <clears throat> Corey, because he was talking about protecting the lead, he says, when you have the lead here, you're not in the business of ever moving balls down table. That's the other guy's business. Your mm-hmm. job is to keep them down yeah. there. Because that's the only way you can really lose to start, you know, taking Absolutely. a little bit of a chance. Absolutely. He goes, you're, you're never, you know, you're not in that business. Yeah. And uh, you learn it quickly depending on what area you're in or what kind of one-pocket players you learn from. But in Houston, for instance, it wasn't one guy that was just, like, never shot at anything when he got the lead. There were a lot of them. So you kind of realize pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Corey's funny. He completely goes to his own beat. There's no if fans are butching. Scratch talking uh, things. He's distracted. He already knows what he thinks. He's going for the four reeler, trying to play the cue ball nicely. But oh, really sweet hit here, here. Watch out for the kiss. It's going to fade long, maybe. I was going to say, though, a lot of times the cue ball won't get all the way back and. and you know, Raid is going to shoot at a nice bank maybe if the one gets open mm-hmm. and really has a good chance to steal the game with the 5 3 the way they lay. So the four railer, <clears throat> you really need to get the cue ball downtown whenever you shoot it. Now he's going for the two railer here. Really has to hit this hard to get the cue ball safe if he's drawing it. And if he's playing shape, he must feel really confident about making it. Yeah, he's got to draw the ball. See how hard he had to hit it? Well, he might have been going for a railer there. I thought he called it underneath him, but... Put a heck of a draw stroke on the ball. Yeah, he Scratched up in the corner. To get a four railer from that angle and then draw into the corner, you had to have some draw. A lot of balls made in this game here with some fouls behind it. He's got a chop on the nine here a little bit, I think, anyways. Just kind of come one rail right, just float where, he, where he's at now. Oh, he's playing this. Oh, cutting the seven. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. But see how delicate that was a little more, yeah. you know, like so yeah. hitting a little more of the nine is a little more, you know, friendly. Like he was more concerned about the cue ball than he was the other, the bank. And he's almost giving up a bank on the seven if he, he may have. Looks like for sure he can cross in front of it if it doesn't go straight. That's where you got to evaluate. Like, he overcut that bank because he wanted to get the cue ball up, right? So mm -hmm. that's what I feel like anyways. It looked like it was sitting pretty nice yeah. and saying, hey, this is one I need to just go ahead and try and make and not worry about the cue ball getting all the way up. It's four to one down in this game. Yeah. You always have to kind of consider, am I going to get a better chance to possibly make a run of balls? Yeah, he's close to it. That's my point, kind of like how often, you know, 
during this game from now on or the last several minutes when Evans had the lead, how, how many times has Raid been close to the balls, right? Mm -hmm. Not very often. He's He's been downtown with the cue ball. There he was close to it on that cross corner seven. And you know how it is. Accuracy is a lot better when you're close to it. So, All right, he's going to stick the cue ball. So he's going to play shape here. There's no drawing the ball. Wow. Well, that one I would have liked to have been table, down on the table. I think that got about 18 inches off the slate. That was quite a bit. It almost went one rail on the side. <clears throat> Evan may take a little chance at trying to sneak the five by the one. Maybe. Cross corner. He's hitting the one railer. This is okay. But again, the five could bobble and come out. Could get a kiss with the cue ball. He did really nice. That looks real good from where he was at. Yeah, he may have left the seven. It's close. This is where... Uh, well, if he did, then that's not real good. Yeah. And Evan figures to hit this really well. And he can hold the ball, which is how he wants to shoot it mm -hmm. more because the one's not bankable, and he can lay underneath. So Just smooth it. Yep, that medium, that real nice medium right yeah. there. So good. Really sweet. That's more of how he likes to shoot it. Two to one. Evan London in front. Early possesses a very powerful stroke, Evan. With a lot mm -hmm. of with a lot of touch as well. He's gonna take a player timeout, I believe. He's two to one ahead. This is the semifinal. We talk about Feder a lot. There's a lot of great guys out there. He just happens to be the guy that looks like uh, the best all around player on the planet as well. <laughs> so all right, this break uh, was dry the first game. It really taxed Evan. And then he broke really well in game number three. But quickly, it looked like Evan got control of Banks, but Banks can change uh, in a second. Now, it'd be hard for me to not bank the seven first. I understand the three. But what are you going to do, draw the ball off the three? You're going to then make the three very missable. So the seven, you can draw for shape on the three. See, my point is not banking the three, but what's he banking next? Yeah. Yeah. So those yeah. types of layouts you do want to be banking for more balls. Oh, the seven's not harder than the three anyway. I thought it was easier right? myself, just yeah. just uh, a little more comfortable. I agree with you. Yeah, and like I said, if you like the three but it had position, okay. But there was nothing there. Cross corner or cross side? Cross corner. Kind of medium again. Yeah, I like that. Ooh, he drained a nice one there. Yeah, and he's got a really long stroke when he's playing well. Ooh, that was a pretty one. Yeah, a little more wrist action uh, than some players overall. But it's not like just the wrist is, is the stroke, right? So just he gets a little more out of it. A little more pokey there. He tried to do something with the cue ball, and he shouldn't have. He should have made sure he got that one. Forget the position. You could bank the seventh straight back, just stop the cue ball. Yeah, and the part of um, this match that I thought I would see more of that I di didn't think I would see more of in the final if Evan got through is I thought Evan would use his moving a little more in this match at times. Uh, cause he banks awesome, but I think his real edge over Raid is his moving ability in this game. Wow, pretty decent hit there. No, uh, he sure was. And when you talk about moving, it's not a, it's not necessarily safeties all the time, but like the shot you just said, right? The cross corner, just stop your ball instead of trying to move it. Mm -hmm. Well, even though you're not getting shape, you're not really giving up as much. 
and you're probably making the bait more often. Well, so you're yeah, so you're playing for one, but it's a right. high percentage one, you know. Well, he moved the cue ball and didn't even get position too. Yeah. Uh, you know, so now he you know verifies. Oh, that's a nice speed there. What a nice hit! Outstanding. Friendly kiss on the one as well. Definitely on. I want to bank the one cross side here. Two's bankable, but uh, I don't like it. Oh wow! Can't believe this. Hard to fault the guy in the final three there, Mark. But yeah. The, but again, the one looked, if you're going to cut one back from behind you a little bit, right? The one looked yeah. a little better. Well, it's half the distance for one thing. You know, you're only going four and a half feet across the table rather than nine feet. He's going to love that. Yeah, he needed to score that one, and he did. Now he's yeah. got a little momentum. If he can roll in the five, he could get the, the one. Maybe go down table, pick up the nine next. That's another thing about the seven, the way he shot it. He I, he think it took on a very tough bank, I thought, to be playing position with, right? Drawing the ball, that being Evan. Yeah. <clears throat> Big miss there, though. All right, should be the nine. He's got a choice to both pockets. A lot of guys would cut this back to the left, though, by the two. Oh, he's banking the six. Going to tighten it up. And he cut that quite a bit, mm -hmm. and he surrendered the cue ball. Nice cross side. And this one stuns up for a little shape, I believe. Now, you can draw it. There's a lot of ways you can shoot this. But if you're not afraid to cut it just with a little stun, you can certainly get the cue ball up for shape. Can't fault him for the way he played that. He, no. He went for the make. He wasn't playing safe. No, I liked him shooting there. Now, Evan should cut the nine into the seven here at the inside of it and draw back. Try and get some balls pushed to the end rail. Oh. I like putting to see the balls when they're on the other end of the table, Mark. Yeah. And you know how you chip the ball, right? You chip the ball. Well, what happens is I would have pushed these balls down there and drew back. You're close enough to the nine to be able to control the, the nine as you draw off of it. But what I was getting at is once you start to chip balls, it becomes more difficult when they're on this end because you have to worry about making one and one coming yeah. to the spot. Yeah, right? yeah. So it's a saying. much different right. game when they're on that end. That's why you do want to be to where your opponent has to shoot that way first. Kind of like one pocket, you know, where they mm -hmm. say you kind of make them go, this might be in. Oh, I thought he called three in the side. He may have. Nice effort as that was, I think he did. Yeah, but now he's got to kind of, you know, cross the six over probably for the safety or go for the one. Okay. See, and my point on this is like here, if you're going to bank the one and draw the ball all the way back, you very rarely make the bank. So, And you have big miss hits, so I think a very tough shot to shoot at. See how bad the hit is? Yes, I do. Yeah, so, and that's not just Ra Raid, that's everyone. That's just how it is. And then drawing back, say it goes in a random pocket, then it's right down there where you said that's yeah. the problem with it is that when you're chipping balls on the other end of the table, it's a little different than pushing them down this direction because now you sometimes have to defend both ends of the table. That's right, and uh, it becomes hard not, it's not one thing to give up a duck. But it's hard not to give up at least a free mm -hmm. shot of some sort. You know, mm -hmm. it may not be the greatest shot, maybe yeah. a little twister or whatever, but you get free ones, especially with savvy players like Evan. But that's what I, I haven't seen from Evan in this final, at the semifinal yet. Him really kind of put yeah. down the brain on him a little bit, you know. Wow, 
this is uh, dangerous as well. This is a lot of cut. Really the only makeable shot he has, really. It's still a little dangerous. Boy, what a hit. Hard to believe he missed it on that side of the... Oh, oh. he hit it sweet. Wow. Hard to believe he got it past the side. Oh, he had to really make a hit. Well, that's a telltale sign of a great stroke because any time you hit it slowly, cutting it back, and it holds its line like that, yeah. that means you hit the ball well. When the stroke's off, it'll bleed off and look kind of weak. and Yeah. You know? That's like Billy Thorpe does. No one's, I don't think, ever banked the ball to where it holds its line so well on the soft ones. Like if you watch his four railers and three railers in the side, it's pretty sick. Now he's really giving it up here. Now this one you want to go ahead and attack, draw the ball back a little bit. Either get good on the six on the side, two cross corner or the seven cross corner. You don't want to just stop. He's Six does bank. Mm -hmm. Type of shot, you don't want to nick the five and let it go in. And ball comes on the spot as the cue ball's going up table, but that's just part of it. Good job. Nice shot there. Got mm -hmm. the nine ball a little on the 50. Now, Evan, 3 1, he can bank it to his right, come up the left side on top of those balls a little bit. One thing, if you hit it hard, you're not going to likely sell out much of a bank. Everything's defended. Usually, this will be pocket speed. Oh, he went the other way. What a nice hit. I thought he might bank it kind of a pocket mm -hmm. speed to the right. And yeah, just let the cue, yeah, cue ball come up on top of the two, you know, kind of thing. Raid already called the cross corner here. So. Sweet hit. Oh, it was. And that's where the difference in the outer tables, right? The cut and deuce throw just doesn't grab quite as much. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Two railer. Stick yeah. Cue ball. Is that what he's doing? Yeah, and he can cut this one a little bit. Really almost impossible to sell out. That's why he's jacking up. He's really going at this one with a little cut. Oh, he stuck the ball. I thought he had to cut it a little bit. But the way the 9 5 and all that are, right? Nothing cross corner went uh, on the 9 just in case he went a little long with, the, with, with it. So I thought he'd give that one a little more effort and not worry about the cue ball. So like right here, he can't cut the nine in and, and come back down. Right. Right. So there's a lot of variables now. Yeah. I might slow roll on the two here. Nothing banks, right? This is where you don't want to take a chance and give up a free one. Pretty good hit. Yeah, you got to stay away from shooting here. What's, how's he going to shoot at this? He's giving up the two and the six here, Mark. If he's trying to make it, at least. Oh, he made it. Wow. <laughs> what a shot. Wow. I'll say. I didn't think he could stiffen it up that much from there. Well, I thought he could stiffen it up, but I thought that he wasn't a favorite to make it. Yeah. And if he's really going for it, he's giving up a shot. That's for sure. Got to cut the six here. And yeah, I think you can yeah. do it with draw. Yeah, especially with his nice soft draw stroke. Mm -hmm. He can really get a lot out of the ball and a lot of twist. I wouldn't doubt he over twists this. 
Oh, he came across the fat. Now well, he now, won't take any chance on the seven. Yeah, and he gave uh, Raid a really nice look at the six and the type of one that maybe he should take a chance at, at getting some balls and don't run the cue ball. I mean, the six is a – for a guy in the final three, he's not a dog to make the six. Yeah. And he can cue it nicely. He can hold for the seven and the two. Wow, how do you not shoot at that? Was there something there that I didn't see, Mark? No, no, it was. Man. I guess he just didn't want to take the chance. Uh, the the one thing you know why why he should is that there's balls banks uh, banks are open afterward if you score. If you mm. you're probably going to lose, but are you ever going to get back and be able to win in one inning again? Ooh, watch out, cue ball. He's loading it up on the seven. Very good at this shot, of course. Because well, you're watch, not kidding. What a shot. But watch how he can hit it soft enough, right, to where the cue ball never even gets to the corner and the object ball still gets to the hole. What a shot to end that match. And that was. That's yeah. off to Shabib, right? Yeah, very knowledgeable. My goodness. Yeah, that's yeah. what you said. So just to inform, 7.36, so roughly a little bit after 8 o'clock, the final will start. I'll be looking forward to it, and I know everybody else is. We'll see you back here soon. So long for just a while.